Hey there, it's Melina Dixon, independent consultant with Pink Zebra Home and manager of the Sprinkle Divas team. And I'm about to put the fun in fundraiser. So this is a very, very simple selection of products. It's 12 3.75 ounce jars of sprinkles, one simmer pot, and two of our different glimmer candle kits and they're sold in two packs. The organization makes 40% of the sales and you, the consultant, make 10% of the sales. Pretty sweet. The shipping on items in a fundraiser will depend upon how much that total fundraiser is. So if the fundraiser is anywhere between $500 and $999, then the shipping is 10%. If it's $1,000 to $1,999, it's 9%. 2000 to $2,499, it's 5%, and anything over $2,500 is free shipping. My advice to you is to assume that you're only going to have a $500 fundraiser and collect that 10% shipping. Should you exceed that amount and have a lower shipping or no shipping at all, you can always give that money back to the organization. The minimum to be considered a fundraiser is $500. So keep that in mind when you're approaching groups and let them know that that is the minimum. It's definitely an easy total to hit if you have a group of sellers. You know, if it's one person trying to sell by themselves, I can see where $500 would be hard. But if you have anywhere between 10 and 20, sellers then $500 is incredibly easy. So just like when you open a party in ZebraNet and have a party link, there can be a special online fundraiser link. Those orders however are shipped separately and do not qualify for any free shipping. So keep that in mind. So it's totally your call on who pays for the fundraising brochures. In the past I've paid for them myself. They're not very expensive and the amount of sellers I've had has been under 50 so I've only needed one or two packs for my fundraisers um, but if it's something that you would like to pass on to the organization you are allowed to do that just decide that up front and be clear with the organization about that I would recommend no more than two to three weeks for your fundraiser period because the people that order at the beginning of the fundraiser are gonna be excited <laughs> to get their products and if you keep it open anything longer than three weeks then they might even have forgotten that they ordered it by the time the products come in. So we definitely don't want that. Say you have an interested organization, what do you do now? You need to actually set up a fundraiser in the back office. You'll go to the shopping tab and choose party and fundraiser order. You will be the host. So open a party with yourself as the host, changing the drop down menu from party to fundraiser. Then once you have your fundraiser party created, then you'll need to set your organization up as a customer. Then you'll want to complete the fundraiser application. I personally like to fill that out for my organization. You are welcome to send it to them and have them return it to you. But I personally fill it out because I am eager to, well, number one, give great customer service, but also get it submitted as soon as possible. Because the sooner that it's approved, the sooner the organization can start selling. If your organization is tax exempt, then you're gonna need additional documentation from them that, that you can submit to home office with the fundraiser application so that they're um, not required to collect sales tax and you won't be charged any in the system when you're placing the fundraiser order. All right, so you're probably wondering when you get paid and when does the organization get paid? That's a great question. So if you close their fundraiser on the last day of the month, then their check will get mailed out around the 15th of the next month. Your 10% commission is paid around the 10th when our normal commission checks are paid the month following when you close that fundraiser. So there is a ton of information in ZebraNet and if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly encourage that you do. So a lot of the information I've given you in this video comes straight from our fundraiser consulting guide. There is also an organization letter, something that you can print out you can sign and you can share it with the organizations that you're talking with. There's also a really awesome marketing document that highlights some information about our fundraiser. And then also the application is in the back office as well. I suggest you be completely familiar with this program before you get out there and start talking to organizations about it. So if you have questions, comment below. 
Also, it's good to know that this current fundraising brochure is good until January 30th, 2017. Our fundraising program is truly amazing. I have not seen another direct sales company that has a program that can even compare to ours. The 40% profit is huge. It's very competitive. And you know, our product is a little more fun than wrapping paper. Just saying. So I encourage you to get out there, start promoting our fundraising program because it can be a complete game changer for your business. It's going to help you expand your customer base and your network. And that's pretty awesome.